again, this is Megan at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the Bernina Qmatic software that is available for the Bernina Q20 long arm on the frame or the Bernina Q24 on the frame. The Qmatic software is awesome because it will just let the machine do its own patterns, which really gives you perfect precision on what you're trying to do, can make your quilts look more professional, and really just make everything look really nice and crisp. Right here is going to be the main Bernina Qmatic screen. If you own a Bernina at home, you'll probably recognize several of these buttons, which make it much easier for you to learn. Not to mention the cheat sheet guide that comes with this is really, really fantastic, helping you learn the program and all of that. If I want to look at all the designs that are available on here, I can actually go right here and scroll through. You can see there are tons on here, which really make it fun. So, and on the side here, I can also pick certain pat tags and go from there. Like Amanda Murphy is really popular. So I can say match all tags with Amanda Murphy. All of these are going to be Amanda Murphy specific designs. So pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and pick one. You'll notice it got added over here. This will remember the ones you've most recently picked unless you hit clear all. But other than that, we can hit close and move on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the one that I picked. And then I want to move it into one of the blocks that's on the quilt th top that I have here. So some quick little things that I can do if I like is I can mirror this guy if I select it. There we go. I can mirror it so I can make things custom. I can mirror it the opposite way too. I can add more if I'm going to be doing, you know, edge to edge quilting or I can make it back down if I did too many. I can do a mask layer, which where if I have a design in the middle of my block, I can make sure I'm not quilting on top of that. I can change the order in which certain things are stitching. I can really play with it and go crazy with it all I want. We're going to go simple though, and I'm going to go ahead and put this to fit inside of a block. In here, I can, I just went to the size button. I can make it bigger or smaller by dragging my finger. Otherwise, my favorite method is actually by using the sew head. So when I move, use the sew head, I'll go over here and I take my machine to the top corner. You'll see that there's a little crosshair there. I hit set and then I can move down to the next corner of my block and then hit set again. And you'll see on the screen, it resized what I just did. If I'm happy with that, I can hit the green check mark and I'm ready to go. For now, we're just going to do this one stitch. So when I'm ready, I'm going to press play. It's going to ask me if I want to start at the start point or at the closest point on design, which this button is really nice if a thread breaks randomly. That way you can get really close to where it broke and get started back where you were with none being the wiser. Otherwise, we're going to start at the start point. Then I'm going to show you on the screen what happens. All right, so on the screen before it starts sewing, it asks me to go ahead and pull up the bobbin thread. So I like to use this button, pull up that bobbin thread, and then we hit the green to go. All right, so as this thing is stitching, in person you notice that it's actually rather quiet, which is really, really nice. So it's not loud and super rattly, it's just doing its thing. Not to mention, it makes it super duper easy to do. So I know I myself could never make a flower this pretty and already that leaf is better than what I can do even no matter how much I've practiced at home. So it also has that Bernina stitch regulator on. That's what those little red lights are showing me that it is going to make sure all those stitches are nice and even for me and it's not gonna go too fast. You will notice, just like it did, that it does speed up on certain parts. That is the regulator knowing that it can handle that many stitches at a time. Whereas it'll go slower on things where it needs to take its time to make sure those stitches are beautiful. And then not to mention, this is super easy where you can set it up and walk away. You can do a whole row of quilting and go from there. The bobbin sensors on the machine will still let you know when you're almost out of bobbin and all of that. They will kind of give you the heads up so you don't do a whole row and discover you ran out of bobbin on the first block because that is sort of the worst when it happens. And then from there you have a gorgeous quilt.
as you just saw, the Bernina Keymatic software really sews beautifully and really makes those patterns look perfect every single time. I definitely recommend coming and checking it out here at the Aurora store where we have it all set up and ready to go. And you can also call our Arvada or Littleton locations if you have other questions about it as well. It is a really fun machine. I think you should come check it out. And it is great to add on to your Bernina Q20 or Q24 on a frame. I look forward to seeing you soon.